I haven't been tracking it as closely as you been have. Been working since Rick he was Santelli, six years old. Why don't you tell me how this factors into your long career? Hey, I've been watching Bonds since Jimmy Carter was still president. I remember the handoff with the hostages when Ronald Reagan was uh, uh, elected. So I go back a bit. And as you look at an intraday of two-year note yields and look at it at 10 o'clock Eastern, you see the way rates drop? Well, that was because ISM was weak. 46.3, weakest since May of 2020. But here's the point. Open that chart up. Let's go all the way back to uh, 20, the end of February. And what's fascinating here is, is that since the end of February, you can see the high and low for the month. The difference between a high yield low close uh, and a low close is 130 basis points. I have never seen a month that I can remember that had a closing range of 130 basis points. Now, Paul, Paul, you can't be on the phone. We need to talk. All right. Eric, Paul Aronson. Paul, thank you for joining me today. This is a simple question. I look at what's going on, and outside of uh, the S&Ps and NASDAQ today, blur your eyes. Today, it's the Dow. But for the most part, the three indices have been doing rather well. Would you agree? Yeah, it seems like we shook off the uh, regional bank scares from a few weeks ago. And Listen, we've shaken so much off. Elvis Presley would be pleased with the markets. My point is, most people I talk to say a recession's coming. But you don't seem to agree, and many people here don't seem to agree. Uh, markets have definitely rallied, but I still think we're very data-driven right now. The Fed still keeps talking about the data, and down here we're seeing a ton of interest in the April 10th expiry, which, because of the holiday, is the first expiration that captures the uh, non-farms report on Friday. Now, I'm sure you saw weak ISM today. Prices paid under 50. You know, if you blur your eyes and take out COVID, uh, these are some of the lowest uh, ISM headline numbers that we've had since 2009. I guess in the final analysis, can traders dance between the raindrops? If we're going to have a recession, but yet they're long, what's going to be the trigger for them? Well, we had the reflexive rally today with the, uh, the treasuries ticked up with the ISM. Stocks ticked up. We we're back, uh, sold back off the highs from today. And I think they're going to wait and see what happens. Um, the, the momentum's higher, but we get a jobs number that throws people for a loop. I one think the number. narrative one can number. change fast. Contessa, it, one number could make so much difference. It's, it's really quite unbelievable. Everybody better tune in Friday morning. I'll be here for that jobs report. I